think that's the way forward. After the World Cup, they'll sit down and uh, maybe nominate a new T20 coach, maybe have a new T20 captain, for surely they'll have a new T20 captain, and get new players in. I, I think this PCL and, and, and presence of PCL um, in Pakistan system and cricket will help them to find new players come year three, year four. I'll tell you something else I've seen about Pakistan cricket. I won't be surprised if they turn up and just yeah, express and say there be something absolutely. else at the World Cup. But, but you see, I mean, the bowling looks pretty reasonable. I mean, they have the resources and with Amis come back, I mean, you know, you know that you are in control as a captain. But when it comes to batting and dealing with pressure situations and showing technique and, you know, a, a bit of vigor and a and, and bit of fight, they fail quite miserably. And, 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 and this was, I mean, what I was seeing of Bangladesh reminded me of Pakistan about four or five years back. You know, just that tenacious determination to not lose the game. I mean, you know, and, and, and so they need to find that mojo once again. I'll take time, but this is not a great day for them. This is no. not a great day because we saw yes. Sami almost crying. Yes. Uh, we saw, I actually saw Shahid Afridi there in tears when I was doing the presentation. So, I mean, they know that they've been badly hurt. Will they learn from this hurt? That's the big question. On the other hand, I think I've seen one of the most confident Bangladesh captains I've seen in all the years I've been watching Bangladesh cricket. We saw him make all the right bowling changes, play, make aggressive wicket-taking bowling changes, and then he comes out to bat ahead of Mohamed Nikun because somebody needed to play the power game. Uh, Harsha, people tend to forget that uh, Mushfiqur Rahim was the captain once they decided that yes, you need to release some pressure on Mushfiq mm. or as a captain and give him a, some sort of a stability as a batsman only. They decided that who's the right guy. The right guy was Mashrafi Murtaza. It was just before the World Cup and remember the Asia Cup. We didn't have a very good Asia Cup, the last year, 2014. So it certainly changed things in, terms the, in the favor of Bangladesh as a team. And he certainly started to show that how cool he is. Look at the figures there. 81% wins. 81%? And T20 will go up, I'm yeah. not out at all. Yeah. I'm sure it will. So people started to believe in themselves that yes, he's the right kind of leader who's going to take us to the area where we want to go. And absolutely, he was, he's done wonderfully well as a captain. I'm glad you brought up that 2014 T20 as well. Uh, because uh, I, was, I was on air and Shahid Afridi was batting. And you could see that with about 60, 70 runs to go, Bangladesh had lost the game. Mm. <coughs> and because Ramiz makes the point that today was different. Yeah, and that is the change that has come about. To us looking at it from the outside, Arthur, I think that was a big change for Bangladesh today. And they are probably now the second best side after India and Asia. Uh, I mean, they've toppled Sri Lanka, they've toppled Pakistan, which is great going in about a year and a half. You know, they've turned it around so massively. We, we're talking about a side that doesn't only have potential, but they have a lot of self-belief. And, and, and that could be because of the environment that they've been... Um, mm -hmm. Getting and, and been brought up since about two years. Uh, new captain, you're finding a couple of new players, wonderful players with big heart. You know, large-hearted performance from the top order. Sabir is a is a quality player. We're talking That's about the point as well, Rami. Yeah. They're getting they're getting quality performers. Not just Shakib Ul Hasan. There's Shakib, there's Shabir, there's Mashrafi, there's Mustafizur. In Alamin and Tuskin, they've got players coming through. Yeah. And our shock loose performer of the day, who stood up to be counted today, was Shamir Sarkar. Mm -hmm.